Another day, another amazing case study. I can't promise to keep this volume up, but of course, again, it's LinkedIn Parasite. Publishing a post on LinkedIn Pulse and ranking it within days. So I shared my first test the other day with now GG Roblox, 40,000 visitors per month instantly ranking within a matter of days. However, that has now been overtaken by this article with only 15 keywords and yet supposedly getting 50,000 estimated traffic per month. And the incredible thing about this case is it's in the gambling niche. This is literally a commercial casinos keyword that I managed to rank within a few days with just a LinkedIn article. Not even that. It was pure ChatGPT. No entities, no autoblogging, no surfer, plain ChatGPT. And I'll show you exactly how I did it in today's video. Before I go on though, don't forget to go to seojesus.com. If you have budget and want to stick with that long-term goal of ranking your own business on Google, then do feel free to submit an inquiry here. In the meantime though, whoever you are, if you just want to receive my best, most cutting-edge strategies that can't go on YouTube, as well as a load of help and resources in the welcome email, just sign up for the Ranking Revelations newsletter. And that is absolutely free. So that's seojesus.com slash revelations. But back to today's case study, you'll notice while most of my LinkedIn posts have got a keyword rich English URL, this one currently does not. And we've got all sorts of random letters. And that's because it's in Vietnamese, actually in the Vietnamese font. So this is it. It is Vietnamese essentially for reputable casinos or best casinos. And you see very little formatting work all in the Vietnamese alphabet. Now, normally I use autoblogging AI's God mode to pump out these articles, which also extracts entities from competitors and therefore means the post is actually very well optimized. But for this, autoblogging.ai does not support Vietnamese. So I just went straight into ChatGPT and very simply said, write a long form SEO article on this Vietnamese phrase in Vietnamese. So we had the usual ChatGPT intro and then it just went away and did it. I then said, keep writing. So I knew we wanted a good bit of word count. So then copied and pasted that. That's literally the article we have here. We can now view it in English with Google Reputable Bookmaker, safe and effective choice for players. So uploaded that, submitted it through a mega indexer. That really does seem to be the big decider in terms of which LinkedIn posts rank right away and which don't and which sit never actually getting indexed. So very important to put it through there. But we can see this was published 18th of January. It's now the 23rd of January. And if we look in Ahrefs, we can see the progression from zero on the 18th to just the next day, the 19th of January, nearly 100,000 visitors per month according to the Ahrefs estimate, if we believe it, with a value of $25,000. Now that's held up for a while. Now does seem to be falling away. This is the big pattern we're seeing with LinkedIn parasites. Overall, keywords are actually improving in rankings. But as we know, there's a lot of volatility and of course, competition. It doesn't take much to actually overtake someone who's already ranking on LinkedIn. So very volatile. We can see kinds of keywords I'm ranking for and their respective volumes. So next step is obviously, can I actually make money out of this? So I've been through the process of applying to different affiliate programs. There's a really strong affiliate market for gambling affiliates in these kinds of locations. Those of gambling companies are really keen on, unfortunately, unregulated markets. So a lot of East Asia, South America, I've been to conferences like Affiliate World where they quite openly tell you if you've got US or UK traffic, yeah, I say to them quite proudly, I can rank in the US, UK. They're not interested. They want these unregulated geos. And now because of that, the commission rates do also tend to be quite high. This one's a 40% commission rate. Um, but because of that regulatory issue, BK8 is a big Asian gambling affiliate. But even just to view this page, I had to get a VPN because it was blocking me. And then even when I went through the application process, there was no option to put my UK phone number or my UK bank address or US bank address even. So if you do go down this route, then be aware. I mean, it's a double-edged it could also mean that there's a lot less competition here. So if you do actually do well in that niche, then you'll probably find a lot of your com competition and not able to get approved on those affiliate programs. But we'll see. I've applied to a few. So we'll find out if I can actually monetize this traffic and if it actually stays there. So don't forget to subscribe, comment below any questions. I will be keeping you well aware of everything that's going on with this experiment. I've consistently said that with AI, foreign language geos are a really big opportunity. For one thing, these tend to use older Google apps. Google really struggles when it comes to foreign languages, especially when you get into East Asia and you're working with different characters and alphabets. So things like link building, you can use a lot of old black hat tactics. I've definitely seen colleagues in the industry have built mass programmatic AI spam sites uh, in Japanese, Korean, etc., ranking incredibly well, very quickly. It behaved very differently to ranking in English in the US. So your link building's easier, the content's easier, at least now it is. So whereas before machine translation has been a bit unreliable, ChatGPT can now write in foreign languages very well. If you are using correlational tools and extracting entities, you should be able to 
still do that and then train ChatGPT with that data, even though you don't speak the language. And Parasite just works even better in foreign languages as well. So sites like Outlook India, obviously that's an Indian website and loads of people are targeting the US with it, but you can also put foreign language articles on there as well. That's exactly what we've seen here. 876,000 searches a month for this reputable bookmaker search. And literally the day after I posted this article with no optimization whatsoever, I got straight in at number seven. So my big question now really is maintenance. Already, my rankings seem to be falling away. Is that just volatility of a new post? Or is it to do with the fact that other competitors are posting the same content? Because we can see here on the 20th of January for this search result, I was here at number eight, getting 50,000 visitors. Even now, what you got to remember with AHS is different parts of it seem to update at different times, which is kind of annoying. So the data can be inconsistent because supposedly I've now dropped down to number 10, but meanwhile, someone else has got in at number four. So over time, how is that going to affect our respective positionings? And the next thing I want to test is I'm suspecting that if I were to simply rewrite the article and re-upload it as a new article, would I then get that initial rankings boost? Are we going to find that the key to affiliate success is dominating one particular niche and then constantly basically reposting a rewritten version of the same article just to always be the freshest, most recent article? Time will tell. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll let you know.